Hello, thank you for joining us today on the Profit Scale Thrive podcast, where we guide attorneys to overflowing profits, scaled growth, and thriving lives. I am your host, Kelly Brubaker. We have a secret though. This is a special place because we don't work with every law firm owner. We support the solo attorneys who are also single parents because we know the special challenges you face and we know the business advice out there is not always practical for you and your firm. Each week, we will talk about things that will give you the insight you need to stop feeling overwhelmed, to gain back your confidence, and to finally enjoy your law firm and your life again. Hello, and welcome back to episode number 31. So a little bit different today. Music's impact on human behavior is a rich and fascinating one that spans centuries and cultures. Music has consistently played a profound role in shaping and reflecting human emotions, attitudes, and behaviors. Historically, music has been an integral part of various cultural and religious rituals. Ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, used music during ceremonies, religious rites, and celebrations. And these early societies recognized the power of music to evoke emotions, create a sense of unity, and enhance the overall experience of communal events. The 20th century witnessed a revolution in the music industry with the advent of recorded music and the rise of popular culture. This era introduced a wide range of musical genres from rock and roll and jazz to hip hop and electric dance music. These genres often carried social and political messages, influencing the behavior and attitudes of entire generations. In recent years, scientific research has confirmed the profound impact of music on human behavior. Studies have shown that music can affect mood, reduce stress, enhance cognitive performance, and even promote social bonding. The therapeutic use of music, known as music therapy, has become a recognized and effective approach for addressing various psychological and emotional issues. The history of music's impact on human behavior is a testament to its enduring power. Music has served as a source of inspiration, reflection, and transformation, influencing individuals and society in profound ways throughout history and continuing to do so in the modern age. So today, I want to dive into the music that inspires us, motivates us, and lifts our spirits. I'm excited to share my six personal go-to favorite inspirational songs that I turn to whenever I need that extra dose of motivation. These are not listed in any specific order. While I would love nothing more to be able to drop the videos into my podcast, because these are my favorite songs, I know it's not appropriate. So what I'm going to do is for every song that I've listed, I will include a link to the song on Spotify and a link to the YouTube video. So if you'd like to see the video or listen to the song, look in the show notes and you'll be able to find the link. Enjoy. So to kick things off, let's talk about a song that never fails to give me the motivation to tackle any challenge life throws my way. It's I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. This iconic track carries an unwavering sense of determination and strength. I Won't Back Down reminds us that in the face of adversity, we have the power to stand our ground and keep moving forward, no matter what. It's a true anthem for resilience and perseverance. I would rate this next song as a tie with I Won't Back Down. It's another Tom Petty classic, Running Down a Dream. This song has a driving beat and lyrics that inspire us to chase our dreams with unrelenting passion and dedication. Running Down a Dream is a reminder that life is an adventure and we should never stop pursuing our goals and aspirations. It's the perfect soundtrack for those moments where you're striving for greatness. Next up is a track that's a little more recent but equally powerful in its message of perseverance. It's Lose Yourself by Eminem. The raw intensity and the powerful lyrics in this song are incredibly motivating. 
Lose Yourself is all about seizing the moment, giving it your all, and not letting fear hold you back. It's a track that inspires you to overcome obstacles and chase your dreams with unwavering determination. Moving on, let's talk about Stronger by Kanye West. This song is all about resilience and turning setbacks into opportunities for growth. The catchy beat and lyrics that celebrate bouncing back from adversity make it an ideal choice for boosting motivation. Stronger is like a shot of confidence, reminding us that we can overcome anything that life throws our way. It's a great track to get you pumped up for a challenging day ahead. I can't do an inspirational list of songs without mentioning Respect by the legendary Aretha Franklin. This song is a powerful anthem that demands respect and recognition. Aretha's incredible voice and empowering lyrics make it a must-have on any motivational playlist. Respect reminds us that we should never settle for less than we deserve and that we should stand up for ourselves and others. It's a song that motivates us to assert ourselves and demand the respect we've earned. Finally, let's wrap up our list with Thunder by Imagine Dragons. This song has an electrifying energy that can't be ignored and its lyrics about facing challenges head on resonates deeply with me. Thunder is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we have the power to rise above and make our mark. It's the perfect song to get you pumped up and ready to conquer the world. And that brings us to the end of this segment. I hope you enjoyed exploring my favorite inspirational songs with me. Music has an incredible power to motivate and uplift us. And I encourage you to create your own playlist of motivational tunes to turn to when you need that extra push. If you have any favorite inspirational songs you'd like to share, please reach out to me on social media or by email at podcast at ProfitScaleThrive.com. I'd love to hear from you. It's time for our listeners question of the week. Today's question is one that I have frequently been asked over the years. And I'm curious, is this something that you're also asked too? And it goes something like this. I need you, but I can't afford to hire you. What do I do? And oftentimes this is used to open the door to ask for a discount. Now I know the legal industry has a deep history of working pro bono. And I personally have done a lot of work over the years for free because I love to use my skills for good and help where I can. And that's great if you're in a situation where you can move forward working for free, but the fact is that you are running a business. Profit is not a dirty word. Profit is required to fuel your business to grow, and it is what puts food on your table at home. Now, I know how I respond, but I'm in a different position than you. Not always, but many times, I'm able to change the scope of my services to fit the budget. I know that's not possible in the legal world. So how do you handle situations like this? Is there something that you can offer instead, such as a prepared template for a standard contract or an operating agreement, one that you can sell for a lower price in comparison to a custom prepared document? Or can you write a short book to walk a layman through how to set up their new LLC or navigate small claims court? A book can easily be published and sold as a PDF document or as a paperback through Amazon. Again, I know there are limitations on what you can offer, but I'm curious what genius ways you have come up with to assist leads who can't afford your services. Please share them with me by commenting below if you're on YouTube or send me an email. If you have a question to be answered on a future podcast, please send it to me at podcast at ProfitScaleThrive.com. This week's inspirational quote is from Anonymous. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you will start having positive results. Final thoughts for today. 
music has been the foundation of my life. Now, I don't come from a musical family, but even my earliest memories always have a song associated with them. It's how I bonded with my friends growing up. While I only mentioned six songs today, I've made this playlist a public playlist. So if you want to check out my other songs, feel free. I'll leave the link below. If you have any questions about today's episode, please let me know. If you're watching on YouTube, you can comment below or send me an email to podcast at profitscalethrive.com. And if you know someone who might need to hear this information, please share this episode with them. Or if you're on YouTube, you can tag them below. Be sure to follow and subscribe to get notifications for future episodes. Did you enjoy this episode? Please consider leaving a review. And before I go, remember profit is something you intentionally plan for in the beginning. It is not a potential bonus at the end of the year. Thanks and have a great day. Mm -hmm.